Well, welcome to the mining rig video, part one. So in this part, I just wanted to discuss the parts that I picked and why I picked these uh, parts. So uh, I think I'll start over here. Now, this is the frame. I haven't put it together because I'm going to do that in the next video. So um, I picked this frame because it's the parts are easy to find. You can get them at... Uh, any Home Depot or Lowe's. It's very cheap and uh, it's an open air frame uh, to help keep everything cool and just uh, it's very efficient uh, the way it works. Um, you end up getting a, a two, two sticks of this uh, angle and uh, you cut it down and uh, one uh, of these uh, is uh, one, and a, one and a half by uh, three quarter wood and cut it. I'll give you dimensions and everything for this in the next video. But uh, I, I just like this frame, the way it works. works very well. So let's go next. Uh, the power supply. I only use EVGA. Um, they're just built way better and uh, as long as uh, you're you know you, you, you watch your watts um, this is pretty much this is the only one that I use right here the 1300 G2 I buy them directly from EG, EVGA uh, the thing that's nice about this they're built like a tank they're just incredibly well built uh, and I don't have to buy no extra cables everything's there um, I don't have to buy any adapters nothing it's all modular um, the setup that I use when you're done you end up using every single cable in here but one <clears throat> so it just really works good This is the riser that I use. I use the USB riser. And here's what I got. Uh, this particular one is a, uh, a version 6. Um, these have been really good. You know, the foam pad, you know, USB cable. Um, comes with the uh, adapter here. You'll need a couple, you'll end up using a couple of those adapters. And the clip. One thing is, uh, if you have a rig set up and your GPUs are crashing all the time, this is probably your problem, or it has been in my my case. Um, just uh, some some of the USB cables just don't seem to want to work. Um, these particular ones that I bought, um, I haven't had any problems with this batch. But I have lots over there that, that I've had massive problems with. So, and then uh, next, let's go. Let's go to the to the motherboard. Okay, I use this motherboard right here because for uh, for mining, this is the best motherboard you can get right here. Um. The ASRock H81 Pro BTC. Um, they do have some uh, a newer one. This is this is uh, uh, one they used to make. Um, they now have version two. I have a, about four of them. Yeah, I think four of them over there uh, for builds that I'm going to do. But uh, it's this is just great. These things are great. Um, you know, you get you you do have a cable comes with it and uh, I'll just pull it out you know just absolutely fantastic uh, motherboard you can run uh, six GPUs on it uh, I just can't say enough this these this board they just work that's that's all I can say they just work 
you don't have to screw around with them with like you you may have to with some other boards uh, mess with the bios to get things set up uh just because they're not made for mining where this is this was specifically made to mine cryptocurrency so set that over here all right ram i am using just this right here is just cheap uh ddr3 server ram i think it's uh what do we got here this is only yeah this is i don't know if you can see it come on focus this is only two gigabytes of uh hinks ram uh with linux which i'm using uh it will run on two gigabytes uh, if you're planning on running windows you're going to need more uh it is recommended to use more but uh the operating system i'm using does work uh on two i've done it before let's go to the processor so uh the processor i use for this motherboard because it is a an LGA 1150 chipset. I, I use the uh, G1840. Um, I use this processor because uh, it's cheap. Um, I get these uh, brand brand new for thirty bucks. Uh, you just can't beat it. Um, you know, uh, in, if you're going to be mine, you don't have to have. Uh, a real expensive processor you don't want it you you want to you want to mine and keep it as efficient and cost effective as possible and i just don't see going out and spending hundreds of dollars on a processor so this is what i use right here they work great got uh, my operating system i'm using uh etho s on a, I think this is a 16 gig, yeah, uh, this is a 16 gig uh, SSD with EthoS on it. Um, EthoS is a, a custom Linux uh, distribution uh, for mining. Um, it's 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 okay. It's there's I think there's better stuff out there. Um, you know, if you're if you're really wanting to do this on the cheap, uh, simplemining.net, um, which I'll, I'll do a video on that at some time. Uh, but uh, I definitely I always stay with Linux. Uh, I don't uh, like Windows because uh, when Windows updates, my my internet just absolutely comes to a screeching halt, and I can't be having ten rigs updating all at the same time. Uh, I would I would get no mining done at all, believe me. All right, uh, for this build, um, I've got six power color Red Devils RX 480 with uh, with eight gigs. Now they there is different models of this. I'm actually using the higher end one. Oh come on, focus. This is the uh, eight gigabyte. D5 slash 3 DH overclock. So this is this one is actually rated at 1330. Um, they have one that's rated just below that, a little bit less. Um, I like these, and the reason why I really like the Power Color Red Devil is uh, they're very quiet. Uh, they've got uh, three fans on them. Uh, I can run them. They're really quiet because uh, I run the rigs in my house um, where we're living, and uh, a lot of it, it, a lot of rigs. You know, the, the the GPUs, the fans are so noisy, you can't even hear yourself think when you got six of them, let alone you know thirty plus uh, screaming. Um, so I do use these. Uh, one thing about this, you know, and and, and it's been mentioned, you know, is that uh, they use a MOSFET uh, for their power delivery you know, on these. Well, and the thing about MOSFETs is, is when they get hot, 
they become less efficient and, and they'll let more power through. So, uh, especially with this card, you have to be really careful about not running it um, at its hottest point. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's something you got to watch, but you should be thinking about that with any card. You know, and there's a, just a little cap on what it looks like. Um, I'm running, uh, I don't know, 18 of these cards right now. And, uh, man, they're just, they just work. I have other ones that, uh, I've ran and, uh, I've, I have problems with. Um, you know, out of all the cards that I, I, the ones that I like the best are Power Color and, uh, XFX have been really good um you know the the sapphires nitro pluses i you know i i i've had two of them crap out on me they just don't they don't run that good um you know the the factory uh ones have been pretty solid i've only had one that was uh bad um so but anyway that's build uh, I'll be doing the next video. We'll be putting the frame together. And then, uh, after that, we'll be doing the, the, uh, assembling the other stuff. So I'll do it in, in a kind of a little series. Anyway, uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, I will be giving away a week's worth of mining to one of my subscribers. So you have to be subscribed and uh, watch videos and there'll be a video posted about that. I'll see you later.